right? So when students jump into Schoology, they can click on the button right down here that shows the uh, courses, or they can click up here on the hamburger icon, which then they show here under courses, and here is their list of courses. You could see right here is the course I want to go into as a student, so I'm going to tap there. I could have, again, also gone to this area right here, and found the e-learning course and clicked on it. Now I'm in as a student. So there's two places I can find this assignment. One is right here where it says e-learning demonstration, right? I can click right here. Or the other area is, you'll see, right here under upcoming. If I tap there, I have that assignment here listed in upcoming as well. So I'm going to click on the blue link and here's my assignment. You'll notice right away that it looks different than the teacher view, right? Here is the teacher view. Here is the student view. So attachments are right up here at the top. So as a student, I want to make sure I read all my directions, complete the activity as attached in Notability and submit back here to Schoology for my review. And I have some directions. I've used rich text editing, like color and bold to be able to make some things pop. Now as a student, I'm going to click view attachment. And now I'm going to click on my PDF. Okay, here's my assignment. Um, I can't do anything with it here, so what I have to do is export it. I'm going to click export, and now I'm going to send it to Notability right here. <clears throat> now that I have it in Notability, I have to create my note. There are multiple different ways this looks. The version that I have, because there's different updates, sometimes it'll just say OK, and then you have to jump over Notability and open it. Sometimes you click create new note. It really depends. You just have to follow the prompts on the screen. When I click create new note, it asks where I want to send it. I'm just going to send it to unfiled and leave it under the note title the same. And I'm going to click import right here and then done. <clears throat> so now that it's done, I'm going to click over on my home button and then head over to Notability. And you'll see in Notability, that I have my note, right? It's right at the top. It's labeled March 17th, 2020. What I can do now is click here on the top. I need to make sure that I have one of my tools selected. So I'm going to click the text tool and tap on where it said note. I'm going to rename it. Add my, I'll call it your own planet. And then maybe you could put your name or something like that, but you don't need to. Uh, so I'm just going to leave it add to your own planet. And now I'm going to complete the activity. You'll notice I'm using the pen tool or the highlighter and those types of things. So I'm going to zoom in with two fingers. I'm going to get my blue color. I am going to hold down and let it become a circle. I am then going to tap and change the style so that the fill is blue. And that's all done now. Now I'm going to go back to my pen tool. And I'm going to make it a little bit smaller. I'm going to pick green. Um, and I'm going to fill in some spaces like this. And this is all land, of course, um, that I'm making. And I'm coloring it all in. I should have a bigger pen tool here. So I'm going to switch over to make it bigger. And now you can see how much faster I can color something in. There we go. All right. So here's my planet. I would then like label it. The name of my planet might be, um, you know, oh, sorry. I had to change my pen tool. It might be um, planet X. Whatever, I can label it, I can do all kinds of things. Whatever the description of your assignment counts for, that's what you gotta make sure you do, right? I could also, if I want, add text by tapping on the text tool right here and holding down and hitting plus text box. And now I can write in my text box that I have here. I can move it around, I can make it wider, I can tap, right? So I have all those options. So once I'm done, what I'd like to do is, once I'm 100% happy and done with my work, I'm going to tap the export button and I need to send it back to Schoology. You'll notice that Schoology is not an option here. So I'm going to click other apps. Now 
what I want to do is leave all this alone. Don't touch any of these things. And all I want to do is hit share note. Now I have an option to copy to Schoology. And I, as a student, want to submit it to an assignment. I'm going to click that. I want to find the course that I just got my assignment from. So if it was ELA, you'd be looking for your ELA course or social studies or whatever. Mine was Sweet Home eLearning. I'm going to tap on the assignment name that matches the assignment I did. And now I'm going to hit upload. As a student, I can now check and make sure that my work was submitted by clicking the back arrow and right here under submissions, I can click submissions and I can see that revision one, add your own planet, this is when I submitted it and all is good. So that's the basics of being able to get an assignment out of Schoology and then send it back to your teacher as a student using Notability and Schoology combined. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this informative.